Greetings and salutations everybody, my name is Maya the King and today we're taking a look at a game that just came out on Steam in early access earlier today called Wigmund, The Return of the Hidden Knights. Developed and published by The Scholastics, who seem to only have this one game under their belt. Uh oh. So, according to Steam, find your way through an adventure RPG set in a medieval fantasy open world uncovering ancient secrets and unraveling the mystery of the Hidden Knights. Engage in a challenging, skill-based gameplay, each encounter being unique, breaking off from the old-school linear simple-click combat. On the Steam Store page, it says that the story is something complex and intricate, where you discover things and learn things through interesting methods. It also says that this game is story-driven, an RPG, and it's inspired by Anglo-Saxon and Celtic cultures. Okay, look, I just... Okay, I... I just can't. The game is... Wow. I was looking for a game that I could do a video on while I was still waiting for Super Seducer 3 to come out. They're having issues getting approved via Steam apparently, but it's whatever. I'll do that video as soon as I can. But until then, I was very interested in this game. It was top down, looked interesting, and looked like it'd offer another great isometric RPG sort of experience. I was wrong. I was so, so wrong. This game is absolutely painful to play. But before I go into any further detail, let me go over the positives that I found first, alright? I want to try to be fair here. Overall, I liked the art style. It had good attention to detail, good shadowing, and just overall had a kind of decent look of being in a dungeon RPG kind of thing. You know, it was rather pleasant. No, no real complaints. In fact, I actually really enjoyed it. Overall, I just, you know, liked it, I guess. The price tag is next. For a game that looks this good and offers what it offers in terms of length, I suppose. Well, I mean, the price tag is appropriate. It's an early access game, clearly unfinished, and not exactly the best game in the world, and they're only asking for $15. I mean, the price tag is appropriate for what they're giving you right now, so I don't have any complaints there. But, those are the only positives that I have, at least right now. Now, I shall rant and rave about the negatives of this game, because that's what I do best. So the music is pretty awful. I mean, the tune and the overall feel of the music is just fine. It's the fact that it repeats the same song flourish over and over and over again every time you start a battle. And hell, the song comes in late to the battle, and then it leaves late after the battle's already over. Besides that moment, there's no music whatsoever. And there's no deviation or change or variety, and you'll quickly find, your, you'll quickly find yourself turning the music off, as I did, because it was literally driving me insane. The sound effects for the game are pretty bland and low quality as well. The sword slashing, the metal on metal, the monster sounds, they're all pretty awful. There isn't even any sound effects for the fire in the game, and so the few sound effects that you get for, you know, the quote-unquote ambiance is pretty bland and low in variety, making the sound experience overall pretty, you know, lacking. I don't want to say terrible, but it is kind of terrible. It is more lacking than anything. Now, let's go into the fact that on the Steam Store page, it expressly says that this is a story-driven story game or a story-driven RPG like three frickin' times. Yet, when I first start the game, I have no idea what the story is. I have no idea who my characters are, what their relationships are to each other, who they are in the world. As in, like, are they knights? Mercenaries? Outcasts? Soldiers? What the frick are they? Why are they here in this dungeon? What is their purpose in life? Why? 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 Any of this? I started off here in this dungeon, and it started me off on chapter 3, with a few quests already completed for me in my journal. I opened up my quest log, and it already had quests completed as if I had already done them, but I had just started, so that was incredibly confusing. After my game crashed the first time, I made sure that I hit the Start New Game button again just to make sure, and again it started me off in Chapter 3 with a bunch of quests already completed. So, you know, that wasn't exactly a great start to this game. And if you're someone who's like, well, the first chapter, second chapter, the prologue, or whatever, were on their, you know, Itch.io page, or, or Game Jolt, or, 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 or Patreon, or whatever, who, who cares? Who cares? I bought this on Steam. I'm a brand new player. So what, everyone who looks at this game has to go and play that first before they can get the one on Steam that's asking for money? Really? That doesn't make any sense. So the argument is flawed either way. So now we're going to go into the combat, and it almost works. I mean, it doesn't, but it almost works. You have to hold the control button and click and hold, then drag your mouse to get your guy to do different types of swings with his weapon. Left click, by the way. And you right click to have him dodge, and right-click and hold and move the mouse to have him roll. 
The problem is, he doesn't move when you do the regular attack, and you have to manually move him to each target. And each target also dodges and rolls and moves fluidly, like you should be able to do. So, it's kind of like this. You move, hold control, swing, he dodged. Now you have to click to manually be near him again, wait for your guy to move over and get close, hold control, swing, dodges again, and you just kind of do this over and over until eventually you hit him. It's like turn-based combat, but without the turn system. And it was driving me insane and, and doing funky things to my brain. Also, the default button to open up your inventory is E instead of I or B or P. You know, I for inventory, B for backpack, or P for pack, or in a lot of games, tab for quick access, which is what most of us gamers know it to be in most of our games. So that was odd, and I had to change that immediately because it was messing with me. Oh, and that's not all. You have three different ways of turning your camera, but only the one way of moving your character. So you're trying to move or angle your camera, but one of those three different ways just keeps changing it up, mixing it up, and confusing you because you're just trying to manage all these buttons and you're trying to do all this fluidly the right way, but because there's so many things against you, it just confuses you most of the time. And let's see, what else? Uh, oh, you have to hold the control button to attack, right? Okay, except if you hit it too much or if you hold it too long, guess what happens? That sticky button warning from Windows comes up. So it alt tabs your game and says, do you want to turn on sticky keys because you hit the control button four fucking times in a row? No, no, I don't. Just do what I say. Go back to the game. Oh, and uh, when this happens, it crashes the game, by the way. So, you know, that's annoying. Quickly change that to a different button. I don't know what other button, because if you use Shift, same freaking problem, but if you use Alt, well guess what? The Alt is already used for something else in the game. So then you'd have to change the Alt to something. And the only buttons available are Tab, Shift, and Control on that side. I guess you could use Caps Lock, maybe, but I don't know if that's worth something. The point is, is basically when you get into the game, just go ahead and remap all the controls to something that's better with you. And I'm talking like, as soon as you get in, you remap those controls. Because otherwise, you're going to be brainwashed into the wrong way of doing things right off the get-go on this game. So, let's go over all of this, you know, one last time in a more simplistic, generalized way. The game's graphics are pretty good, and its price is appropriate. But its sound effects are subpar. Its music is one note on repeat, and it's not even that good. There is no voice acting in the game, even though the Steam Store page says there is. There's no cutscenes either, even though the Steam Store page says there is. It started me off in Chapter 3 with a tutorial, by the way. A pretty crappy one, so it must... I, I wanted to put that note in. It is a pretty crappy tutorial, because all it tells you is how to swing your weapon. Um, but the fact is, is because it started me off in Chapter 3 and gave me a tutorial, I mean, that means it, it, it's meaning to start me there, right? Like, it, it, it wants me to start there at chapter 3. Otherwise, why would it give me the tutorial? If it was a glitch or a bug in the system, and I was just starting at chapter 3 rather than chapter 1, completely cutting cutscenes and dialogue in the beginning of the game like most people do it, why was there a tutorial? If it was jumping me straight to chapter 3 because there was a bug or a glitch, then wouldn't the tutorial not even be there? So, I don't understand. It, it's like I've never seen this level of, of brokenness in a game before, or or at least this level of oddness in a game before. So the combat is annoying and the opposite of intuitive. The game is buggy and glitchy, which normally would be fine for an early access, but not when the bug is programmed into the game's mechanics. What do I mean by that? I mean when you hit the control button too many times and then it does the sticky keys and crashes the game. That's what I mean. That was programmed in and not appropriate so that the sticky keys keep happening. It's lacking in story, engaging content, in-depth tutorial, immersion, and gameplay mechanics. Hell, even the character stats screen and the inventory screen is severely lacking. Almost no information there at all. And if that wasn't enough, you can't heal, select, or change slash customize the equipment of your party members. They just follow you around and do most of the killing for you. So, honestly guys, in my opinion, pass on this one. I, I don't understand what happened here. I am completely baffled. I don't know what's going on. I can enjoy and support a badly made game if the story is intriguing, or vice versa. I could support and enjoy, you know, a very well made game if the story is crap. But this game's mechanics are shoddy, its sound effects and music are bland and uninventive, and its story is practically non-existent, so when they say it's story driven, that's not true. Like I said earlier, it didn't even start me off in a prologue or chapter 1, but in chapter 3 with a tutorial. So. Honestly, this game just makes no freaking sense in any way. It's almost like a troll at how badly it's started up and how badly it's advertised and described on the store page. 
I mean, I don't want to be needlessly mean to the devs, and, you know, honestly, if they're listening, I hope they take this with a grain of salt and they fix all these issues immediately. You know, I do these videos based on the moment these games come out, or at least I try to. So, you know, I don't care what happens, what gets fixed, or what gets updated on it. I'm talking about right now when the game is released and people are out there trying to buy it and support it. I try to put these videos out as quickly as possible so either the devs know to fix it as quick as possible or so that the fan base or the players or the customers realize, hey, not worth it, don't spend the money on it yet. Alright, that's why I do it as soon as I do it. It's to help both sides. But like I was saying, I just hope the devs can don't take this too harshly and they just fix these issues immediately. I mean, I think this is their first attempt at making a game and I understand that they were trying to go for something a little different and unique here, but it, it it's it's not working. I don't see this becoming a huge success. I mean, I hope I'm wrong and I hope that people like this stuff and you know, maybe I maybe I'm wrong here, but for me I just this does not feel like it's going to be very good. I mean, if the UI or the overall mechanics for fighting were more intuitive or easier to handle, then this might have been more fun and possibly a great idea. If the story was more put together and actually present, then, you know, this might have been interesting. If the music was handled better, if there was more, or if it was just not the same thing over and over again, that would have been better. It's just, it's lacking in so many things that just seem basic for a game like this. I mean, if you're going to give me a party of three, then let me control and customize and, hell, even heal each of them, not just the leader. If you want to use an intuitive fighting style in this vein, then you got to make it more fluid, more movement so that you don't feel like it's a turn-based game, but without the turns, where you're not just slowly, you know, clicking and selecting as he just slowly kind of moves block by block over towards the enemy for him to swing, and the, you know what I'm saying. And if you're going to brag about having a great story-driven RPG game here, then start it like every other freaking story-driven RPG. A beginning! No straight to the middle, okay? Alright, that's all I got to say about this game. I mean, I hope the devs don't take this too hard, as I said. I hope they fix it, and I hope they end up turning out a good game, or at least not being discouraged, and they can put out more new stuff. But right now, honestly, in my opinion, this is not worth it. It's just not. I mean, it needs a lot of work, and it, to me, it's just not very playable right now. Or at least, I guess, technically, it is playable, but it's no fun. It's just more of a headache and more of a chore than actual fun. Maybe come back and check in six months and see if this game has been edited or fixed on or whatever. But right now, it's just such a pain to play. It, it's so annoying to play. I just don't think it's worth it. I love the creativity. I love the idea of doing something new with a top-down game like this. I mean, I, I was talking to my wife earlier about this, about how it's such a shame that this game could have really offered us something really cool and fun. The, the gameplay, the fighting is almost fun. It is almost amazing. But it's so slow, it's so janky, it's so it's just awkward that it's no fun at all. It's just, it's more annoying. It, it's just, everything about this, it was just, it was handled very poorly, and it just needs to be further optimized, and who knows, maybe six months, maybe a year, this game will be optimized the way it needs to be so we can get a great game out of it, but as of right now, it, it's just, it's, it's not. It's just annoying, it's just a chore, I just, I wasn't having fun, I was annoyed, I was frustrated, I was bored, and those are not things that you want in a game that you just bought. So... Thank you all so much. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who tuned in to watch this video. If you liked it or found it informative, then please hit the like button or the subscribe button to support my tiny channel. Or hey, even leave me a comment letting me know what you think about the game, about how or why you disagree with me, you know, in the comments down below. Uh, all I ask is that you keep it civil. Uh, I don't mind disagreements, but I do mind trolls. So, you know, keep it civil. Come at me logically, intelligently, and civilly, and we'll have a legit conversation, uh, you know, a debate in the comments about it but don't don't be you know needlessly mean there's no need for that at all and i don't won't take you seriously if you are so anyway thanks again for watching everybody and i can't wait to see you all again on my next adventure so until then i bid you all farewell